you only have one primary index per table like you only have one mom. But doesn't mean mama can't have a hyphenated name. In this case, we only have one primary index, and it's on first name and last name combined. That's a multi-column primary index. Why would we do this? Well, maybe we had last name in the beginning, but our distribution wasn't all that good because all of the Smiths went to the same amp. But when we put first name and last name combined, Mary Smith went to a different amp than John Smith. So that's why you'll have a multi-column primary index for better distribution or because sometimes people use their queries and they always put in one, two, or three fields all the time, then that's an excellent case for one multi-column primary index. The great news is you've got multiple columns in your primary index. Here's the bad news. Every time the user writes the SQL, they're going to have to say where first name's equal to this and last name's equal to this because that's the way it works. When you have a multi-column primary index, when Teradata goes to lay the data out, it puts the first name and the last name together, no spaces, boom, and then it hashes it. That's why Mary Smith goes one way, John Smith goes to a different amp. So that's what I want you to understand. It does come with that penalty that you got to use it in the SQL. No partial stuff. You know, sometimes people say, you know, you use one of the indexes, it's partial, it'll help. It ain't helping. It's like going to a party and saying, can I get your number? And they go, yeah, here's my area code. It ain't going to do it. You need the whole number if you're going to make the call. You need both the first name and the last name in the SQL if it's going to be a single. Amp retrieve.